Hello, fifth year, how are you today? I hope you are fine, I'm happy. Well, today we are going to check pages uh, 39 and 40 from the exam maximizer, from page 40, exercises one and two. We are going to um, check mistakes also, because I have um, mistakes from uh, the, the things I sent you yesterday. Yes, okay. minutes is the last writing yes all right so we are going to check those mistakes there wait a minute mm -hmm. from essay uh, number two yes from page 35 from the exam maximizer Yes, okay. Um, I want you to open your file. Yes, open your file and see the mistakes. Okay, see the mistakes. Remember to check before handing in. I have already sent uh, all, all of them. Okay, so uh, we'll check the mistake there. We're going to do the listening, uh, listening from page 40, uh, ex listening one and two. Yes, from the exam maximizer. Today we have the trailer from uh, Sherlock Holmes on the signs of four. That could be your uh, short story, yes? Okay, y también hay nota de examen global. Se viene el examen global el 18 de junio, yes? Y en donde podés comprar, en qué librería podés pasar a comprar eh, la fotocopiadora, sí? Es una librería, tiene artículos de, yes, okay? Y puedes pasar a, a comprar tu short story, ¿ok? Tenés que tenerla en casa tenés, porque tenés que hacer brainstorming, tenés que hacer subrayados, o sea que pasar a comprar la short story, no tenés que estar, ¿ok? Bueno, um, pages today, pages 65 and 66, moral verbs, yes, obligation, necessity, you will see the grammar on page 153, yes, for the grammar charts. Uh, letter of application, you have to see page 171 from the class book. Yes, okay, and as homework pages 40 and 41, 40 exercise 1, 41 exercise 2, grammar and use of English, and a writing exercise 3 from page 41 from the exam maximizer, 150 words. Yes, I put the words there. 150 words, yes. PDF, por favor, 28 del 5 para el 2 del 6. Ok, shall we start? Yes, ok. Well, um, mistakes from there. Ok. I will say at the ESA 1, 2, yes, ok. Well, ESA 1 is done, yes, ok. Good. So, um... Paula, well done, darling. Well done. You can you can see the many can see the many elementary mistakes there. Uh, want you have desired que daba mejor, yes? Because want is a verb. It's not wrong, yes? But it's a verb that generally doesn't go with ing, yes? Okay. But you may see it, yes? Okay. It's not wrong, yes? Okay. Ramat, it is uh, reasonable, yes? The order of the center because of esto. In general, you put because of this, because of that, yes, because I have many of you that did this, make the same mistake, yes, okay, because uh, in Azarena too, yes, because of this issue, because of this problem, you need to put a noun after this, that, yes, okay, if you put because of it, no, but because of this problem, because of this issue yes pay taxes jose your writing was late yes but i didn't correct it because, not because it was late but because because it wasn't in pdf una imagen una foto no es lo mismo que un pdf yes okay no me manden en imagen en foto pdf estamos por terminar el año chicos bueno no exagerada la teacher pero but we are in june yes almost in june yes finishing may 
and you still send the teacher uh, in the incorrect format, yes? Mili, 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 are you watching the classes? Sangrías, yes? Estuve explicando toda una clase otra vez para vos especialmente, yes? Dejo sangría, no salto renglones, ¿sí? Tenés que dejar del margen, me dejaste sangría ahora, pero me seguís saltando renglones, no me saltes el renglón. Directamente deja la sangría, que es el espacio entre el margen de la hoja, hasta aquí, ¿está? Dejo sangría, no salten los renglones, ¿está? O sea que ojo con ese error de puntuación otra vez, ¿eh? Saving, yes. When you start the sentence, uh, reading a book is better than... The sentence must, the, the word must be in, uh, I, with the verb with ing, yes, because it's a subject, yes, of the sentence, yes. Reading, paying the bills, saving money is, yes, a very difficult. Uh, wrong word, I get bills, estaba mal, eh. Ojo con las ideas también, eh. Bills son los, eh, las cuentas, los, um, yes, okay, bills, good. Uh, no me acuerdo cómo era, pero en el contexto no te pegaba ese. Ese bills estaba fuera de... Water, te puse wrong word. ¿Yes? A ver si me carga. ¿Yes? ¿Ok? No, no era lo que vos querías. Eh, quería muchos billetes, quería decir vos. Pero bills son facturas de la luz, del agua. ¿Yes? ¿Ok? Good. Uh, the food of every month, yes, on a different, or on a difficult economic situation, on a difficult. NASA, pay attention, feel, fell, yes, yes, feel, felt, falling, yes. Then you have, uh, but there was uh, the spelling, there was a spelling mistake there, there was a spelling mistake, yes. Feel is not the same as, uh, feel the sentir, yes, okay, no. Fall de caer, fall, fell, fallen, feel, fell, felt, ok, the same, this problem, that thing, yes, ok, the security nos lleva al de adelante porque es un after noun, ok, Santi, the reason of this issue, the same mistake, this problem, yes, ok, y había una idea que no la entendí, no sé qué quisiste poner, escribime, yes, ok, there are uh, many uh, opinions about This topic, yes, ok, Tere, lo mismo también que estuve explicando a los otros chicos. Which side you are on, spend money on things like this, yes, things they like, perdón. Ok, good, this is done, so let's go to check pages uh, 39 and 40, yes, ok, good, are you there? Pages from the activity book, yes, 39 and 40. Yes, 39, 39, 39 is here. The grammar. All right, Sheila works slower, slower than Lynn, but he work, his work, her work is more accurate. And Dula is a tree surgeon. She says it's the most dangerous job she has ever had. Yes. Okay, number three. Charlie works longer. The, Charlie works the longest hours of anyone I know. Theresa has been much happier since she got a promotion. Stevenson's job is much better, much happier, much better, okay? So you have to emphasize the use with this um, much, yes, plus um, a superlative, a comparative, yes? Much better pay than mine. Number six, now, that I have moved, ha moved house, I don't have as far to travel to work as I used to. Okay? Exercise two. No one in the department is as, as, as good as Megan at computer programming. Two, this is the most impressive application letter I've ever read. Three, Jean is less experienced, experienced than Rob in managing people managing people. Four, the new machinery is much more efficient than the old machinery. Five, his much fairer boss, fairer work, fair, fairer boss than any other I, I've had. Six, this is the worst job I ever had. Number three, 
How are you enjoying? Yes, your new job? Yes, Chris, it's great. Thanks a lot of people, blah, blah, blah. Number one, all the done. Two, more experienced dance. Three, more confident. And four, the biggest. Exercise four, uh, page 40. Page 40, one and two. Two, one, two, two, which or that. Three, with. Yes, four, because, as. Yes. Number five, hat. Number six, R. Yes. Number seven, off. Yes. Oh, sorry. Wait, 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 wait. I have to follow here. Number eight, when and after. Yes. One. Exercise two. Yes. Okay. Number one is voluntary experience. Voluntary work experience. Number two. One, two, two, which or that? I repeat, three with, four because as, five had, six are, seven of, and eight when and after. And now we are going to go to the listening from this page, from page 40, exercises one and two. Okay, are you prepared? Good. There we are. One and two, all right? So look at the photo and the title, then listen to the recording of the statement one and two, true or false, okay? Are you there? Good. Unit 6. Listening Activities 1 and 2. I've loved watching movies for as long as I can remember. And I used to sit on my mum's knee watching the romantic films she liked. I loved them too. My dad liked action films, and when I was in my teens, I got into those too. In fact, I loved them so much, I wanted to be one of the people who performed the stunts. And that's where it all began. The profession is quite different now to how it used to be. The earliest stunt people weren't given any training and just had to learn through trial and error how to perform stunts. Modern action movies didn't exist at that time, so most work was in comedies, you know, like falling off a wall or something silly like that. I didn't really think about working in the film industry until I was taking karate classes. I was doing pretty well, and my teacher suggested I audition for a part in a film where the producer was looking for people with skills in martial arts to perform some stunts. I eventually persuaded my mum to let me have a go, and I got the part. The rest is history. You don't really need acting skills to do the job, which you might expect, but you do need to be very fit. Climbing or being able to ski can be really useful skills to have too. Anything that will help you stand out from the crowd, really. Working as a stunt person can be very competitive. You don't need a stunt degree or anything, but you can get into the industry by being a film extra. A kind of actor who plays very small parts in a film, like walking down a street appearing to be shopping or something. This gets you familiar with film sets, and you might get to meet the stunt coordinators who may give you work. Being a stunt person isn't a glamorous job like some people think. But it's really exciting, and you get to work with some great people. The best job I've done was working as a double for a famous film star who didn't want to perform her own stunts. I was fortunate to be the same height as her, with a similar figure. My hair wasn't the same though, so I had to wear a wig to look a bit more like her. It's taken a long time for women to enter the industry, so I was really excited when I won an award for my work. It was only a little statue, no cash or anything, but it got me recognised, and now I'm busier than ever. Okay, so uh, she is a stunt woman, yes, okay? She, uh, being a stunt is not as glamorous as all the people think, yes, okay? And it was very difficult for women to enter uh, in this business, yes? Nowadays, they are well paid, and, okay, and another thing is that you have to be very fit, 
Yes, okay? Good. Uh, well, so number one, false. Number two, true. Yes? Remember to pause the video now, do the activities, listen again. You have to rewind it and listen again because number two is uh, for doing with the same listening. Okay? I will go to the, the answers. Don't cheat. Number one, romantic. Number two, comedies. Yes? Number three, uh, she started, uh, she didn't know that she was uh, going to be a stunt um, woman, but then, a stunt woman, but then uh, she started karate classes, yes, okay, and number, uh, she started, yes, she went to a set, yes, and well, and everything. Number three, karate teacher, karate teacher, number four, climbing, yes, okay, number five, stunt degree, you don't have to have stunt degree or anything but you have to be very fit yes okay um they are uh extras yes they can appear in a film you know extra what extras are well those are um people who appear in, in a cafe for example walking in the streets yes okay um Well, number six, a star degree. Number six, number five, star degree. Number six, shopping. Number uh, seven, yes, eight, yes. And number eight, statue. Yes, okay. Is it clear? Good. So I want you to go now to pages, um, Pages 65 and 66, okay, from the class. We put the dates, yes, okay, in the two pages. All right. Height, perdón, height, yes, altura, yes, okay, good. I was checking. Right? Is it clear? Yes, you have to be the same height. Yes. And in another of uh, in another occasion, the thing was that she wasn't she didn't have the same hair as the other woman, so she had to wear a wig. Yes, you know what a wig is? Yes, peluca, yes, okay. Good. Well, so I want you to put the date in the on the two pages, 50, uh, 6, 65 and 66. Yes, let me, I'm going to write down. Yes, you know, it's from higher, highest height. Yes, okay. Good, there we are. So you are going to read a blog about Harry's work experience at the local museum. What do you think he has to do? What things he has to do? What do you think uh, are the things he has to do? Yes, you know, but first of all, we are going to go to page grammar reference on page 153. 153, hello, 153. And you are going to highlight morals of obligation and necessity. Remember that? We are going to have the, um, the, um, the global exams, yes, okay, all right. El 18, yes, de junio, yes, if there are any changes, I will let you know, yes, okay. But 18 de junio, yes, okay, 18 de junio, okay, el examen global y van a abarcar desde las unidades 1 hasta las 6, okay, si hay otros cambios la teacher te avisa, eh, la clase que viene tenemos revisión desde las unidades, de las unidades 4, 5 y 6, acuérdate que van de 3 en 3, 1, 2, and 3, we have already done, and then 4, 5, and 6, ok? Yes, y ojo con el tema del examen global, ok? 18 de junio, vas a llevar notitas, yo te voy a mandar nota, 
Yes, desde la unidad 1, 2, 6. Yes, si agrego alguna cosa más, te aviso. Yes, ok. Is it clear? Good. So, let's go to the grammar. Yes, ok, are you there? 153, 153. Highlighters, yes, ok. Then you have the uses of must. Yes, you know, to talk about a strong obligation, I must pay the bill. Yes, ok. I must wear a uniform at school. Yes, ok, to make strong recommendation, you must start, you must start your diet. You must start uh, doing exercises because it's good for your health. Yes, okay. Watch out. Yes, watch out. Avoid using must to tell other people what to do. You can appear rude, okay? Entonces, fíjate que si lo decís eh, a otra persona, yes, pare vas a parecer rude. Yes, okay. It's better to say, uh, to use have to. You have to start a diet. But if it is a, a person that is uh, with health problem, well, must it be um, uh, a modal verb a doctor will use, okay? Need to, you need to start the diet. I would like you to start the diet, okay? So it's for expressing a strong obligation, okay? Take this into account. Then you have um, the past, yes, of must is have to, yes, okay? I have to clean I have to wear a uniform, a uniform when I was at school. Yes, okay? Then you have um, mustn't to tell, well, you know, mustn't. Yes, you mustn't touch. Have to, to talk about duties and obligation. I have to clean my house. I have to record classes for my students. Yes, okay? Uh, need to, to talk about duties and requirements. Yes, you need to be uh, on time for the classes. Uh, compositions must be on time, yes, handling on time, yes, don't have to, yes, when there is no obligation, but I don't have to clean my house all the weekend, you don't have to wear a uniform when you, ha when you come to the classes, yes, okay, didn't have to, yes, you know, the tense is should, yes, uh, weak obligation, yes, um, you should uh, go on a diet too, yes, okay, Uh, we we use supposed to to talk about rules that people are expected to follow. Yes, okay. You are not supposed to uh, be in this class now. Yes, okay. Is it clear? So read them. Yes, okay. Highlight them. Yes, all the words there must be highlighted. Yes, all right. Is it clear? Remember, page modal verbs, yes, because 152 with 53, because you have to study from there, okay? So let's go very quickly, we are going to go to pages 60, um, 65, yes, okay? Good, so I want you to go there, do exercises 2, 3, Yes, four and five, le ponemos talking. Yes, okay. Right? Yes, teacher. Okay, so let's go. Remember to pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Okay, number two, exercise two. I'm there. Okay, 1A, 2G, 3C, 4D, 5E, 6H, 7F, yes, 7F, 8B. Okay, exercise three. Must live. Two. Don't need to buy. Three. Was supposed to post. Was supposed to post. Don't have to get up. Five. Have to help. Have to help my mother. Now you have to be careful if the sentence is in present or it is if it is in past. Okay, be careful there. Five. Have to help my mother. Six. Should get a weekend job. Yes, okay. Um, there we are. Okay. Well, exercise four. Yes, are you there? Yes, okay. Have you read this experience? Well, I'm, I'm looking at this. 
experience worker. From my experience this year, I've decided to apply for a placement at the Royal Hampton Museum. I am really interested in history. So what are the things he's supposed to do? Yes, okay, at, the, at that place, yes, okay. And I want you to, uh, I had to write a quite detailed application later, letter. I was thrilled when I was accepted. I am having a brilliant time. You don't have to be an expert, yes? You have to do a range of things from selling books in a gift shop to researching information about things like all toys on Google, yes? And you mustn't, um, visitors mustn't touch the, the things, all the uh, exhibitions in the museum, yes, okay? Uh, I he didn't have to wear a uniform, but in some museums, yes, you are supposed to wear a uniform. Yes, okay. Uh, well, so these are the things you have to read and highlight vocabulary. Yes, all right. So let's go to page 66. I want you to go to the uh, writing reference on page 171. 171. Yes, and you have the letter of application. You will have to write a letter of application. Yes, and uh, it is the, here. Yes, and I want you to highlight everything. Yes, you are looking for a holiday job and see this advertisement online. Write your letter, but this is an example. How well do you know your city? We need tour guides for our major cities. Write uh, to us at the address below, including details about your knowledge of the city, any language you speak, and your availability, because time, uh, the time, uh, the um, you have to be able, the availability of time is very important, yes, because they need to know if you could be able to do, to work with them on the uh, hours, the hours they need, on the time they need, okay? So, first of all, it is very important to, Yes, okay. Dear Sarah Madan, comma, say what you are applying for and where you saw the advert. I am writing to apply for the job of a tourist tour guy in London that was advertised on blah, blah, blah. Or oh, that you saw in the newspaper, maybe. Yes, okay. Then you have to mention all the points you are asked to write about. Yes, okay. Uh, I know the city very well. History is one of the main interests, interests and I have done many projects of famous London sites, blah, blah, blah. I speak three languages because you are asked here. Yes. Do you know any languages? So you have to say you speak languages, your skills, yes, your qualifications. Yes. I am, I am an enthusiastic person. Yes, I am. I think I am suitable for this job because I am also sociable. Yes, you have to say why you are suitable for this position. All right. And then uh, do uh, and appropriate. Yes, in an appropriate, appropriately. Yes, in an appropriate way. Hoping uh, you hear from I, I hope to hear from you soon. Yes. OK. Yours faithfully because you don't know the name, dear. So, okay, if you know the name, you have to end your sincerely. Fulano de tal, ta, ta, ta. And you have uh, all there, yes, appropriate opening, dear Sero Madan, yours, your sincerely, yes, and closing, yes, opening and closing a vocabulary. Giving reason, I'd like to apply for, I am writing because I saw, talking about your abilities, I have lived and studied in, I have a lot of experience in, yes, I believe I am an ideal uh, applicant candidate closing yes i would be grateful uh, for a quick reply could you send me some more details yes okay so these are the things you would have to include in your letter so it must be all highlighted yes all these charts yes must be highlighted and while you are writing the letter i want you to look there and to cross out and in the diff and use different vocabulary, different phrases in the different, on the difference, uh, on the different letters. So you practice, all right? Before handing in, I want you to check everything. Yes, in this way, you are going to have less mistakes. Is it clear? 
Okay, so let's go to uh, are you good are you a good swimmer? Do you enjoy work do you enjoy working with children? Blah 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 blah. So you have to read the uh, job advert the job advertisement and say if you should write the letter in a formal or an informal style and why. Okay? Yes, alright. So the style would be formal because you don't know the person, okay? Good. So I want you to do exercises two, three, and four, okay? Now is the time that you will pause the video, yes, okay? Good. Number two, one, and do the activities, and then listen to the answers. One, two, five, six, eight, nine, eleven, and twelve. Yes, okay? This is number two. One, two, five, six, eight, nine, eleven, and twelve are the points you you think you should include in the letter. Why? Why you are writing? Two, where you found out the job? Yes, okay. All these numbers. Okay, number three. Paragraph one, one, two. Paragraph two, five, six, eight. Paragraph three, nine. Paragraph four, eleven, and twelve. Not included, included three, four, seven, and ten. Exercise four believe one, think, believe two, now, currently three, want, good life four, like, enjoy. If I get the job, if you accept my application, you know, these are formal phrases, formal phrases. So pay attention, highlight. These phrases and use them when you are writing, yes, because the format must be formal, the style must be formal, okay? Good. Um, number five, if you accept my application, you don't put if I get the job, you will write if I if you accept my application. Number six, I be free, I can be available, yes, okay? Do you understand? So, I want you to include these are words, all right, in your letter. Um, number seven, can you tell me, no, I could be grateful if you could let me know, yes, okay. Number eight, get in touch with me, no, impossible, you can contact me, contact me. Number nine, please write soon, I look forward to hearing from you, okay. Best wishes, okay, yours, no, yours sincerely, okay. Good. Well, and um, then read the advertisement and write uh, your letter. You should write between one and no. Este no tiene que hacer. Vos tiene que hacer. You have to do the one in the exam. Maximizer on page 41. Yes, okay. It says exercise three. 150 words, okay. Read another advertisement from the newspaper and write a letter your letter of application. Remember the letter of, uh, you put, um, you enclose your CV to this letter. I enclose my CV to this letter, okay? Want to work on a film? Over July and August we shall be filming a new Robin Hood film in this area and we are looking for people to help with makeup and costume. Yes, apply to John Z. Deacon and Wiki, uh, Wiki's films address below with details of your experience and availability okay well so that is all from today yes okay pay attention use the phrases remember it's a formal style mini de sangrías para separar los párrafos okay no saltes reglones okay well i will show you the um the notes And we're going to see the trailer, yes, from your short story. Yes, are you there? There we are. Do you miss the classes? Yes or no? Yes, okay. Maybe you can write on the message. Yes, how are you feeling? Yes. 
I want to know. All right, so pay attention now. So I want you to look at the board and I will clean the board. Yes, okay, so you have, uh, you can, the teacher can read. Yes, okay. Well, there is a note, a very important note about uh, the global exams, all right? Señores padres, se les comunica que el día jueves 18 de, de junio habrá exámenes globales internos de medio año. Se valoran los contenidos desde la unidad 1 to 6, ¿ok? Bueno, se les ruega que su hijo o hija estudie para, dicho ex, para que lo haga al examen a conciencia, ¿ok? You know, todos los alumnos de secondary and third grade tienen todos los contenidos gramaticales subrayados en sus libros de clase y libros de actividades. Asimismo, les comentamos que ya está a la venta, ¿yes? La short story. In this case, ah uh, no, this is not yours, okay? This is not, uh, yes, it is. Sherlock Holmes, yes, okay. Here we are. There we are. Que ya está a la venta la short story Sherlock Holmes and the sign of four para ser usada en la brevedad. Literatura complementaria la pueden adquirir en la librería Oropel que está ubicada en la calle Jonas Alk, casi Coronel Bogado, ¿ok? So, uh, this is done, ¿ok? Tienen que notificar esto, por favor, ¿all right? Is it clear? So now we're going to see the trailer of your story. I hope you like the story. What do you think it's going to be about? This is Sherlock Holmes. Have you ever read the art of Conan Doyle? Yes, ¿ok? Um, Sherlock Holmes and the sign of four, you know? Um, Jonathan, yes, okay, and there are many names here on the paper, yes, and it says the sign of four. It's going to be what? A strange story, a thriller, a comedy, a romantic story, okay, so you can get this book, yes, okay. Uh, you know, it's very important that you have the book at home, you know why? Because we are going to do all the activities at the back. Yes, okay. We are not going to read that. You can say, okay, we download the video, I will see the film. Yes, don't cheat. But it's very important that you have the book because I'm going to uh, give different tasks. Yes, from the back, okay? So um, let's go there, yes, and get the book, all right? The copies, all right? Is it clear? Good. So let's go. Um, you will see the, the kind of trailer that we always do. The trailer of the film. Yes, okay, okay. And two. No.
uh, I hope you have liked, uh, um, open your mind, because this is a case, this is the case, yes, yeah? so you know, Sherlock Holmes will have a great case here, I have already read, of course, the story, yes, and, um, well, you know, I love Sherlock Holmes, yes, okay, and uh, I love the way Arthur, uh, Sir, uh, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle writes, yes, and give life to this amazing uh, detective, yes, and of course, uh, my dear Watson, okay? Well, I hope uh, you have, you can get the short story, I hope you have a happy weekend, and of course, there is a nota there, yes, uh, you will have revision on units, yes, okay? I will add this to uh, the photo pizarra, yes, okay? You will have a uh, revision, yes, you know? Revision on units, yes, on units four, five, and six uh, next class, yes, okay? And those the, um, the second of June, okay? You must study, okay? I will add this to the photo pizarra, yes, okay? Well, um, study for next class. Remember, uh, the global exam is on the 18th of June, yes, on the 18th of June. You have time for studying, organize your things from unit 1 to 6, yes, but for this you have to study, yes, from 4, 5 and 6, all right? See you next class. Bye-bye.